Hi everyone, welcome to day 14 of my 50 days SQL challenge series where I solve data analyst and business analyst interview question for SQL. Today we'll be solving one of the data analyst interview question. So let's see the question. You are given two tables, orders and customers. The order table contains information about order placed by customers, including order ID, customer's ID, order date, and order amount. The customer table contains information about customers, including customer's ID, customer name, and the customer's email ID. Find the top two customer who have spent most of the money across the all orders. Return their names and email ID along with the total spend. So basically we need to find out the customer names, email ID and the total spend by that customers. So we have two tables. One is the customers table. One is the orders tables. In the orders table, we have the order related information like the order ID, customers ID, order date and the order amount. And in the customers table, we, we have basically the customers information like the customers ID, name and email ID. So what we need basically, we need this customer name and the email ID and this customer's total spend. Now both this table have a common column which is customer's ID. So based on the customer's ID basically we can do an inner join between these two table and then we can basically group the data by this customer name or customer's ID. That's how basically we can kind of you know get our results and then we can basically order the data based on basically this uh, total amount which we will be getting from the order table and uh, then we can limit the data into basically two. So let's see how we can solve it. So first we need basically customer's name so we need customer's name then we will need customer's email right and then we need basically total amount so total amount from basically uh, order table we can get total amounts let's see the order table so in the order table we have this amount column right so we can get this from here now we can join both the table based on basically this customer's id because in both the table we have the customer's id right so we can join based on customer's id right from both table both table so then we can do a order by by this total amount which we will be getting from the order table then we can do a order by total amount descending right and then we basically can uh, limit the data to two because we want to see the top you know top two customers so let's start writing the query okay so let's see in customers table what we have so in the customers table we have customers id and customer name so first i need basically the customers id okay so because their name could be like you know two customer have same name so i will basically do the group by by the customers id so that i don't get any error you know so that I, I i want to ensure that i get the right data so i will say i need c of customers id okay and i will also select the customer's name so c of customer name so basically i'm getting this information from the customers table in the customers table i'm basically going to give a alias called c now next i need basically see of customers email id customers email right so this is the column name and other than that i will need basically one column from the order table that's going to be the total order amount which is this one right so i can go ahead and say o dot order amount as total spend okay so we have all the information that we need now i can go ahead and say from customers as c now you can say from customer as c join so i'm doing doing an inner join so i will say inner join with orders table as o so i'm just giving the order table as o the alias and i'll join both the table with the this column which is customers id we have customers id in both the table so i would say c dot customers id equals to o dot customers id so i have done the join now simply I basically need to do a group by by all these three column okay so I can just go ahead and say group by by this column which is customers ID okay then I will need to do a group by by basically this column as well which is customers name because all these are categorical column now I cannot do only group by by one column because that is going to basically give us an error so I can just go ahead and say group by by this one as well now other than that we can just see the result now let's see mm, okay order amount sorry so order amount we want to see the total order amount so we need to use a sum here because we want to see for each customer's id or each customer's name or each customer's email id what is the total spend that's the reason we're doing a group by so that we will need to basically use aggregation functions here so we are saying that we need the sum of all these basically three things you know so we can just go out and now run it it should work fine now you can see for each customer's id and uh, customer name customer's email id we can see the total spend no, now we can simply order this data so we can go ahead and see order by this which is total spend in descending so you can sort of by descending so this is fine 
now i can just go ahead and basically use a limit because i only want to see two two data so i can just go ahead and say limit two and i have the top two customer who has spent the highest uh, money so this is how we can kind of solve this kind of problems now i do not need customers id here i can just cancel it customers id so now i can still get the same result see now this is how i ensure that basically i am doing a group by by this customers id as well and uh, you know so that i get the right uh, customers and their kind of total spend now if the two customer has the same name now if you only do a group by by the customer name maybe you will be getting an error so this is how i ensure that i am doing a group by with the right basically columns now i have a small task for you so the task is that you need to find out the customer details who has placed highest orders so what you need to return basically total count of orders and total amount of basically you know orders that the customer has placed along with the customer name email id and basically this two column which is total orders and total spend amount so you can write down your solution in the comment sections i will check them and let you know if you're correct thank you for watching the video till the end to practice this question check out the video description for my github link happy coding